Oh man, time for tier two, but spoiler alert! I didn't have fun today, in fact I'm recording the audio for this not even 30 seconds after finishing the video. But I, I remember this block, like in the last episode I figured maybe there's supposed to be like some super duper special message block, but tier two's like hope was too big, so I I, I honestly gave up. I was going to edit this part out, but that will require actual effort on my part, so I said, fuck it. I mean, yeah, that's as far as it got. I, I didn't feel like doing effort, but today, 16 minutes, two levels. Both of them I hate. I hate them both. Even though, quite frankly, I can't remember the first level I played, but God damn it, I didn't like it. I remember that much. But holy crap, tier two is big. If I... If I uh, can recall what I saw, it was like three levels per like level over here. It's it's kind of weird, yeah, not necessary, but hey, Tower of Bias. Who cares what you want? It's Bias. Fire Castle. That's right. Both these levels have a really annoying fucking trait of just really annoying bosses. The first level I actually did like, though. It had a lot of charm, and it gives you weapons that you can take out of the level because the guy didn't remember. And instantly die. Instantly die. But this level actually gives you the red butte. The red butte. And the blue Lakitu shoe, which is weird because a level doesn't really give you both of those at the same time. But you also switch characters when you do so, so it doesn't matter that your doors have no NPC on them. One, this game is designed so that if you have a Yoshi or a boot and it is forcibly taken away from you, the world map or hub will be forced to give it back to you, let alone if you have another character that loses it, it stays on that character. So yeah, I've got a red boot. Uh, no. No, I've got a blue Lakitu for Luigi. So whenever I load this game back up, I've got a red, I've got a blue boot. It's not the same. It's got to be red boot. Blue boot. It's not the same. It's not the same. Oh my voice! I didn't bring any water with me this time, so I got to go 16 minutes without water. Is, is this water old? Yeah, that's that's old water. I'm sorry, I'm the kid from the signs. This water has a speck of dust in it. I can't drink it. I gotta go set it on top of a coffee table somewhere and just fucking leave it there. And I'm sorry, I didn't like the movie Signs. It was like the first horror movie I saw, but critically, that movie is flawed. I, d I bet like nobody here even knows what the fuck the Signs is. I, I don't even know who the hell directed it. And Roto Disc, I love you so much, but you're an ass. I thought we had something. I I do love Roto Discs. I like them. But yeah, I actually kind of like this level. I mean, Fire Castle, really easy, a little bit. Boss, unnecessarily hard. Sorry, unnecessarily unfair and full of bullshit. But I really did like the level. Like, I don't see many people really like. Use like a whole room full of fire and flames, and you have to go through the fire and flames. See what I did there? <laughs> but yeah, I really liked it because you never really see anyone use the blue boot, just for the sole purpose that anyone like Boss Edit or I will go through hell and back just to steal it, just to rub it in your face. And of course, I try to figure out how to take the the boot, but I realized the door's gonna take it away from me, so I'm gonna have it back anyway. And time for the elevator ride of doom. Which is really any elevator ride, especially if you get in the elevator and like some fat guy comes in right afterwards and you know he had like a burrito from Taco Bell. You can hear it gurgling in his stomach and you just hear that that little whistle in. Your next 10 seconds of going up to floor three from floor one, but you gotta stop at floor two as well is is it's awful I mean just imagine I am Mario and imagine the fat guy was the lava lotus when you let it rip 
everyone within a four... Well... Anyone within like a four mile radius, I would say, is just instantaneously gonna die. Just one whiff, dead. Your lungs it, it, fucking implode on themselves. They don't collapse, they implode. You're gurgling up blood, all the while you're gasping for air, which you can't do anymore. It's, it's a horrible way to die, so... Message of the day? Don't eat Taco Bell and then go into a... Elevator. Honestly, just, just don't eat Taco Bell. And I was really paranoid for dying right around here. I don't know how the fuck I didn't die there. I really should've. Because I'm not sure if these are friendly or not, but... Whatever. And... Yeah, I wasn't testing it, but quite frankly... Fuck this boss. This level... Why? Why put a giant Bowser? And then have... What is it? Ten layers that you have to go through. It's like... Why? You can't even gauge where he's gonna fall. Because, like, where you stand, that's where, like, his toe goes. And then you have to, like, run all the way back. And you'll see it in a moment, but that pink, sizable block that's all the way to the left here... Bowser can't jump through that shit. So if you get stuck over there, you just got a giant Bowser to look at. And honestly, I cheated. I cheated through this level, and I cheated through the next level, because I didn't have the time. I mean, honestly, this video was late enough. You guys aren't going to see this till, like, 9 o'clock. Which I'm sorry, but my work schedule got a little fucked up. I was trying to record all of this on Tuesday, but they called me into work, so I'm like, okay, I don't have the time to do this now. I should have recorded it, but I was so fucking tired yesterday. I was lucky that I was able to find the bed. I was that that shit tired that I couldn't figure out where my bed was for half a second. Wait, what? He actually jumped through that? So why didn't he jump forward the other times? I'm 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 confused. So yeah, it's, I I gave up because it's like this, this level has a halfway point, but you have to go through so much bullshit for no reason. Like have the halfway point. BEFORE the unnecessarily unfair boss. Not, you know, 10 minutes before it. You know, oh my god, I'm hungry. I knew it was a bad idea to do this before lunch. Or at this point, dinner. I still gotta put the pork chops in the... That fucking pork chops, I'll cook them tomorrow. Behind the scenes complaining. Isn't this awesome? See what I mean? Like, you can't gauge that. Which, honestly, I was dumb enough to put myself in a hole where only his fat ass can fit in. There's no room for me to get out anyway. But I was getting so annoyed because I couldn't... I couldn't control where he was gonna fall. Those... Those fireballs have messed up frames if you're on the right side of him. The columns won't fall down. But it was... It was just annoying. And then I stood here like a dumbass thinking... Is he dead yet? Is he dead yet? No, he's still down there. Still alive, which you have to use the billy gun to do, which... Thank God somebody edited it, so that you could just have the star, because it's like... I would have rated this shit poorly, just for that. Just for that. I loved the level. And then you fucked up at the end. You fucked up at the end. But that level, honestly... Honestly, I like that level more than this level, which... Totally biased, but the last level is it, it was fun. It was Challenging it was fun, and it gave you the weapons necessary to actually beat the level unlike this level which was you, You'll you'll see why I, I'm such in a pissy mood about this still in a pissy mood I like the tile set though. I kind of find it weird that the slopes don't have like that that like polished gray stone I mean I really would have thought it would look better if you had the stone on that too. It seems so weird because the background and columns are the same exact like graphic as the tile itself, so it's it, 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 it's weird. Wait, and by the way, red boot, amazing. Almost lost it though due to matrix style popping in again. I wanted to get a couple lives, so I tried to like farm this spot right here. Not very easy because... 
Come on. Edit. Edit, Wraith. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I stood there for a good, like, three minutes or so. Couldn't get him. And then I had to deal with the with the fireball. I figured, fuck it. I'm not even sure if I can even avoid those fireballs with the red boot. Like, I, I'm not sure exactly how much the red boot, like, pr protects against, so... I decided not to test it. Wow, that really good. Wow, yawning? Wow, professional yawning. Why am I yawning? I've been asleep all day. I slept from like 9 a.m. to 4. There's no way I should still be asleep. Or sleepy. Of course I'm not asleep. I'm talking right now. I can't record in my sleep. That'd be weird. I'm still mad I lost my red boot. And fun fact, I never actually showed it on screen, but those gray Goombas... They have weird physics to them, they're kind of like bullies, so they push you around. But I show that, you'll see it. But what I'm concerned is, they don't have a death effect. Like, it was never, like, intended for you to kill them, so they have the regular death effect. It's, it's weird. Hey, Shadow. And I spend way too much time trying to kill this one enemy when I could've just, just ran up to him. But it was worth it! He showed me a power-up. And I, I got afraid by that mushroom, I really did. It, it was looking at me! Have you seen a mushroom with eyes? But this... Seriously! One, I didn't know you broke the fourth wall. Two, two Ludwig fights? I mean... Why? You can't avoid two Ludwigs when they're on the same path style! Go away, cat! So I, I almost immediately die because it's like... You can't avoid both of them. When one pops up, you're gonna die to the next one. Wow, that was an amazing fall there. So I I, I was legitimately pissed off at that point. Because it's like... Why? Why is everyone using these annoying-ass Ludwig fights? Ludwig is not fun to fight! And there's no sense in putting two of them! It is just as annoying to kill one as it is to kill two. And I just stood here, like... Like, seriously, there's no halfway point? You're gonna bullshit me with two Ludvigs on opposite sides of me, so I'm gonna get hit by one of them? And then you don't put a fucking halfway point? I didn't even edit, I didn't even cut this out. I'm like, if I gotta deal with this shit, you guys gotta deal with this shit. Because I was, I was furious that I had to go through this entire fucking level again, which is... It's, it's not really a big deal, but technically this... This is kind of World 8 difficulty. Castle with lava, potabos, Ludwig fight, and 90% of the enemies you can't kill. So it's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's not put a halfway point. That's fair. Eventually. Eventually, I just gave up. I didn't even feel like killing anything. I just started to use Wario time. Cause it just turns everything to coins, but it doesn't get rid of their events stuff, so... Fuck! I just turned everyone to coins! I mean, I still fought the Ledvigs fair and square. I didn't bother with, uh, the boss after Ledvig. Yes, you don't get a halfway point for this entire level. You fight two Ledvigs, and then they pulled an SDG, which, honestly, it... It's one of my moves, and I intentionally took it out of SDG. But you have to fight an SMB 3000 with bombs. With other added, um, obstacles. I'll be honest, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. But you put a fucking halfway point in! You don't just, you don't just throw that at me and just be like, Sorry. Die, guys. Like, honestly, if I was a judge, this shit would have been in tier 1, easily. EASILY! Due to difficulty. And lack of power-ups, honestly. And avert your eyes, children. AVERT YOUR EYES! That didn't happen! Hey, you can actually see the axe when you jump into this area. So yeah. Wario time! Ah, I love my money. I love democracy. If you're the big man, you can get the money one way or another, even if you gotta kill a couple guys. Uh, you gotta think, like, if this isn't like a communist-based world, Mario must just be like the richest son of a bitch ever. 
He probably has more coins in his pocket than the Mushroom Kingdom has. I saw this and I was like, really? I instantly put in Don't Hurt and I just Wario time because I'm not gonna sit here and throw tw 17 bombs into him. Which, one, bullshit. Two, you don't get rid of the bullet bills. Three, the star is on a timer. And four, you get still tied to the bullet bill! No halfway points! Fuck this level! Fuck it! I mean, I really like the tile set and I kinda like the effort put into it, but it's like, you fuck up at the end! 